Hey everyone, it's me Sherry and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I got my hair cut. That's the elephant in the room. Well, that's one elephant in the room for this video. For today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Morphe and Coca-Cola collection. So I picked up the blush and what they're called? Cream lip bl glaze and the cream in the cheek blush. Yeah, it's a blush. So I picked up that set looks like here's the outer curtain for that so it's coca-cola and cherry from morphe and what it's cherry coke from morphe sorry so here's what the outer packaging looks like and here's what it looks like on the inside when you get it so it has your cheek product and your lip product this has like the little can of coke on the side that's actually diet cherry coke but they don't have diet in there and um Two servings, pretty please. This juicy set features an iconic black cherry lip glaze and bouncy cherry filled. What? Yeah, is it filled? Cherry fied blush to brighten up your day and look in just one swipe. Name a better duo will wait. So that's what that says and then the packaging for the palette looks like this and the other elephant in the room here's what the palette looks like and yes I know and a lot of people are ticked off about this but it is what it is if nothing else you you know that you're great when you get copied so they literally ripped off two faces packaging literally here's what a Too Faced palette looks like on the inside here's what this Morphe palette looks like on the inside they're like literally identical so besides if you're mad about stuff like that then you're probably not going to want to watch this video if you're like a true I'm a true oh, sorry I just got the whiff of the gingerbread I'm a true true I'll have to fix that in a minute I'm a true Too Faced fan but it proves that you're great if you're being copied off of. And I don't mind that the packaging is the same. Mind you, I guess they shouldn't rip off the packaging because it's copying and all that stuff. So I know there's a lot of people ticked off about this. But it doesn't speak for the formula and stuff like that, right? Like they're, they have their own formula. They just took the packaging, which people are either going to agree or disagree with. So... Again, this is what the packet, this is what the colors look like inside the palette. They're very pretty. They're very fall. They're very cherry coke. Okay, so I'm going to go into a demo where you're going to see me applying the products and then I'm going to come back with my final thoughts. <laughs> start with the eyeshadow palette the colors that I used seem very blendable as you could see in the video um, they had a little bit of kick up in the pan in the MAC colors when I was picking them up but I don't have no file left on my face and I did my foundation first so that's a bonus I wish it would have smelled like cherry coke that would have made it even better but what I've used so far the blendability was good and the pigmentation on the shimmer that I used on my lid was good. I, I always use Morphe, Morphe shimmers with my finger. I just find they apply better. I can't wait to get into 
some of these other ones. I'll probably take a picture and do swatches and just leave it, insert a picture somewhere here. But as far as I've used it so far on first impression, pretty blendable, no fallout on my face. I like the color story. I don't like the fact that they copy Too Faced packaging. That's, that's a big no-no. But other than that, it's a pretty good palette so far, what I've used. Okay, this little duo. Um, I liked this cream blush. I'm a cream blush junkie, guys. It kind of gave my cheeks, as you can see, just like a little flush of pink like you blend it out I'm going to find other ways to use it I'm going to try it with a stipple brush next time because I kind of blended a lot of it away with the sponge I gotta throw this sponge out that's yucky but yeah it's pretty pigmented this is what it looks like and it was pretty blendable even with just the finger because if you see here and then take a clean finger But you got to do it quick because it does dry down till like, it dries down. It's not like a regular cream brush blush. Can't talk today where it's like extra creamy. It dries down. It's like, I, it's cream to mat, I guess is what it is. Cream to powder. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it a powder either. either. It's, a, it's a different formula. You're either going to love this and you're going to hate it. But you have to play around with it for the best way to um, apply it. But I just, I love the packaging. So cute. So, I like this. I'll be using that more. And then the lip glaze, as you've seen, I put it on my lips and then I spread it out with my finger. This actually does have a Coca-Cola scent. Yeah, this smells like cherry Coke. This smell, You know what this smells like? Do you know the little Coca-Cola um, gummy candies that you can get? That's what this smells like. That's what I find it smells like anyway. So, I have no complaints about it. It's not overly sticky, has a nice smell to it, has a little bit of pigmentation to it that you can actually see it on your lips. So I'm happy with these purchases. That's my overall opinion. I don't like the fact that they copy Too Faced packaging, but it is what it is. We can't do anything about that. People are going to copy the greats. There's other people out there. There's other companies out there that copied Too Faced packaging. So I don't see why we should. I know a lot of people are given this hate because it copied Too Faced but what about like Makeup Revolution they literally copied the ch chocolate bar palette so if you're going to do that to Morphe you're going to have to do it to Makeup Revolution too my opinion anyway I don't discriminate against brands for copying or like there's controversy with people or anything like that I buy what I want to buy and that's just the way it is and that's just the way it's always going to be so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this little review I would recommend these if you're in the market for this color story basically right and then this if you like cream to powder blushes and you like stuff that smells like coca-cola then it would be a good collection for you but if you don't like any of that stuff then skip by it but i liked it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you did if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell so you be notified of future uploads <laughs> i tend to upload on tuesdays and thursdays um and i vlog and put them up on saturdays my schedule for august isn't going to be on point but Actually, it kind of is. I said I was taking a break and I haven't yet, but I probably will after filming this video. But I'm going to start filming for September possibly here and there. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are all doing well. Take care of yourself and each other. And I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye, everyone.